It's a very rainy day here in Fort Smith today, but we have a big day planned, including good food and a rock climbing gym. Buckle up. We're beginning our day at Calico County, a popular eatery here in Fort Smith with legendary cinnamon rolls. Fun fact, they have served over 10 million cinnamon rolls since 1984. Everything here is good. We just left Calico County here in Fort Smith. It's where we had breakfast. And, um, like, I tried to eat not a lot, you know, because I don't like to stuff myself, but their cinnamon rolls, you, some restaurants bring you, you know, rolls before your meal, and uh, Cracker Rail brings breakfast, or breakfast, biscuits. biscuits, Calico County brings cinnamon rolls, and they're amazing. And then, I got the breakfast burrito, which I only ate half of, but it was still really filling and really good. And then Timothy got French toast, which I had a piece of. But we both agree that we're so full. Like, we're really dragging. But anyway, we're on our way to the River Valley Nature Center. Oh, and we got to go coffees. They're super friendly in there. So if you're in Fort Smith, Stop by Calico County, and every if you if you go, they bring you get a basket of cinnamon rolls. So it's worth the trip just for that. You can smell the cinnamon rolls from the parking lot. Anyway, service. yeah, service was amazing. Um, our waitress was Gina. Jenny. Jenny. <clears throat> Can't remember. She was fantastic. Super. Everybody in there is super nice. So go check them out. Our next stop today is to the Janet Huckabee Arkansas River Valley Nature Center. I'm hoping there will be plenty of indoor things to do because outdoor is not happening today. But the Nature Center is built on 170 acres of land that was part of Fort Chaffee. It should be pretty interesting. Center is actually closed today. It's closed on Sundays and Mondays. We didn't get to go there after breakfast, but it worked out anyway because we needed some time to regroup a little bit before this afternoon's activities. Um, so that's what we've been doing. We just came back to the hotel and We've just, I've, I got a little bit of work done and Timothy and the kids have been relaxing a little bit by the water, by the water fountain, waterfall. And um, so we're about to head out for more things, more activities. And you know, like I've been thinking about this a lot and how Fort Smith has completely taken me by surprise. The amount of things to do here is amazing like it's just tonight will be our third night and we're gonna stay a fourth night 
because we just cannot fit it all in. So I will put our itinerary in the description so y'all can hit all the places that we've been to as well because this is a town that you don't want to miss. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and collect the rest of my family so that we can keep going. Stay close. Oh dear. Update. Um, it's Sunday afternoon. Spartan Adventure Park has about 500 children in it. <laughs> Maybe not. It could be 600. It, no, it no could, it's not. It could be 120. It's a, 120 children in it. I don't know. There's kids everywhere. There's a birthday party going on. And uh, I have a feeling I will be mobbed by six-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's just too busy for me to try for to... For our personal taste. For our <laughs> <laughs> if you like a party scene, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> We're used to hiking alone. Um, anyway... But it looked cool. It looks amazing. Like there's um, ninja warrior climbing rings and Everything. walls you can run up and trampolines and all. All that to say we're going to go tomorrow which will be Monday, and we're hoping all those little guys are in school. And um, it, it'll be less crowded, I hope, so that I can, you know, film and take pictures, because I don't want to take pictures of other people's children and put them online. Um, he said tomorrow they should be running only around 50 children. Ish. Ish. So we'll see tomorrow. Anyway, uh, we're going to... Oh, I was wondering. Now I see. They open at 4 tomorrow. I thought, how could there be yeah. hardly any kids with school? But I guess they oh. come after school. Four, oh. Yeah, 4 to 8. So that's the evening thing. But still, Monday evening, whatever. Apparently it's evening for the kids. They come in the evening. We need to get here at 4 tomorrow when all those kids are eating dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they're still getting off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to uh, kill a little bit of time before we head over to the bistro to eat. So... We'll see what happens. Hello, camera. We decided to head straight for the bistro. Coffee. To have some coffee and escape the mob of six year olds. And three year olds. Let's be real. And 12 year olds. Let's be real. -er. And 17 year olds. Yes. All ages. And their parents. <laughs> I just realized I'm in the wrong lane. I need to go left because the bistro is right up here on the right. River City Bistro likes to support local artists, so when you go, be sure to check out all the art hanging on the walls. It's all for sale, and the bistro does not take a cut, so all of the earnings go straight to the artist, and some of them are quite young. We tried a little of everything while we were here because, well, that's what we do, and I can 10 out of 10 say it's worth a trip over here. Put River City Bistro on your radar. Next on the agenda for today is Vertical Horizons Climbing Gym. Now I've never done any sort of rock climbing. Obviously this is going to be an indoor gym so it's not like I'm climbing an actual rock. But I still haven't done any climbing. They proudly proclaim that climbing is for everyone and I hope they're right. I am excited but very nervous at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So the green ropes and the blue ropes are for top roping. Um, you just know how to know how to you have to know how to blade to do that. It is a free class that we offer, but if you haven't taken that class, you just can't get onto the blue or green ropes at all. Got it. Perfect. Yep. Very right. cool. Let's go this way. Okay, check it out, guys. This is pretty simple. Three start, three step process. So with the gold one, we're gonna push it forward. 
Okay, twist it, pull it back, come here little guy, and flip it right there into your middle loop. That's what we call your blade loop. We only clip into this loop right here. Now with the red one, we're gonna pull back on it, we're gonna twist it, it's gonna open up, and you guys are ready to start climbing, all right? Let me just tell you what's running through my mind right now. My three kids are standing on the floor watching me. This is my first time ever climbing. I've already told them to be brave and keep going, so I most yeah. certainly you have to be right brave now. and keep going. So I kind of lose track of where I am, and I am climbing pretty high right now. Um, but when it comes time to come down, I think I might regret this decision. Okay, hold the, hold the, push back with your feet. Push back with your feet. Just lean back. Yes, lean back and hold the rope and it will start taking you. And you just, you just use your feet to walk. Yes. Tr do me, trust me. Hold, hold the rope. That's good, hey. Lindsay. Lindsay, put both your hands on the rope and lean back. Hold the rope and lean back and let it catch. Lean back on your feet. Both hands. I did it, you can do it. Just, I did it, just listen. Lean back with both hands on there, trust me. Keep your feet on that, lean back. Do it. Just do it, quickly. There you go, use your feet, see, there you go, woo! See? I think I did a pretty professional job. What I can say is this is so much fun, and I could stay here all day climbing. Our kids, who are 12, 8, and 5, loved it so much. I mean, although I got to the top and uh, had a little trouble coming back down, they are just climbing all over the place and it feels so safe because those auto belays just catch you. It's really the perfect day to, perfect, what am I trying to say? Perfect place to spend an afternoon. Believe it or not, today is Super Bowl Sunday and our Chiefs are playing in the Super Bowl. So we are headed straight back to Wyndham as quickly as we can so we can get there on time. We're cutting it a little close, but hopefully the game won't have started by the time we get there. And the plan is to spend the rest of the evening watching the Super Bowl and I'm gonna catch up on all of my work because let's face it, there's always a lot of work. We have been in Fort Smith for several days now, and it seems like no matter what we spend our days doing, it's always fun. Whether it's the Marshalls Museum, or a climbing gym, or all of the excellent restaurants around town, there's so much to do here in Fort Smith, and we're not even done yet. And by the time we leave here, we will not even have seen it all. We're gonna have to make another trip back. I am loving it here so much that I just don't want to leave.
our traveling is not over. There is still so much to see here in Fort Smith, and frankly, we have a lot of trips planned this year, period. If you liked this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you come along with us on all of our journeys because I have a lot to show you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you around the natural state.